Praise the Lord. Welcome to Friday Morning Prayer and Devotion. And I just want to wish everyone a happy Friday. And it's hard for a Friday not to be happy when you realize when you're going to work this morning that you've only got about 8 or maybe 12 hours at the most. Uh, and you'll be through another week and to the weekend. And we know God's hand has been upon us throughout this week, upon each of you. And I thank God for each of you who have made the commitment to start your day with us in prayer. We'll be continuing our devotional series today um, from the YouVersion app. And um, it's called Good News, Encouragement for a World in Crisis. It will be devotion number five. So if you have that app and you want to follow along, uh, you're welcome to do that. There will be other scriptures involved with this devotional that I will not get to, and that will be some good Bible reading for you going into the weekend, and I know it will be a blessing to you. I welcome each of you in the wonderful name of Jesus, thankful that, that you're able to spend this time with me and with one another today. Take a moment and welcome each other, greet one another, share an encouraging word if God has laid something on your heart. As we go through the prayer request today, you should be able to see on the screen needs that have been submitted uh, overnight that uh, I want you to help me with calling those names out today as I am uh, still out of pocket and not able uh, to pray with you in real time, but I do still want to be faithful to lead you in prayer and, uh, and take this time even though we can't actually physically be together. Oh, the wonders of technology, and um, I kind of feel like that scripture where it says that uh, God puts, um, the, the psalmist I believe said, God put my prayers in your bottle or my prayers are in your bottle. And uh, maybe these are bottled up prayers because I'm praying a little bit ahead of you uh, and then I'm praying a little bit behind you. But I will come along if you post new requests today and, I, and trust me, I will be praying and lifting up those specific needs even though I'll be praying in more of a general sense as I guide you through our prayer time together today. We want to make sure we remember our shut-ins, our nursing home residents today, that God's hand would be with them, that God would protect them from coronavirus, um, from any uh, new outbreaks taking place, and uh, that they would be encouraged as they have, many of them, spent much time away from family and friends and uh, those who come in to encourage them. I know our church has been quite some time since we've been able to actually go into the nursing homes and minister, and we're looking forward to that time when we can do that once again. But in the meantime, let's just trust, amen, that God's presence is going to manifest in their rooms today, wherever they are, that God would minister in their lives today. We want to pray for those who are still awaiting uh, test results, uh, have had recent medical testing done, uh, those who have been tested for COVID-19, uh, I know with all the increase in testing, there's just so much that seems to worry about. If we'll let our minds race with us every time someone coughs or sneezes, we all get a little worried. Amen. But let's pray for uh, negative test uh, results for COVID. And for those who do test positive, that they will have a mild case of it, not have to be hospitalized. We want to continue praying for those who are most vulnerable, who if they would catch uh, that virus, it, would, it could prove deadly for them. Pray for those with autoimmune diseases, and let's continue to pray for our scientists and medical researchers that God would give them wisdom and direction and guidance that they could find a cure for this. Let's pray for our president today. Our president needs our prayers. Our leaders need our prayers. Our vice president, our congressmen and women, and, and our state representatives all the way down to your local city council and mayor. We all need God's help with budget issues and all these things that there are to take care of, uh, even in areas that have not been hard hit by the virus. The economy has affected everyone, and we're believing God for full recovery. Let's pray for those uh, who are needing guidance in their job situations today, those who are unemployed, those who are underemployed. We're believing for full recovery in Jesus' name. Let's pray for those who are struggling with their mental health today and that's so exacerbated when you go through times of crisis such as we've gone through over the first half of this year and now into the second half of the year. And we're believing God just to help them and to calm minds, uh, to calm anxiety and fears today. 
in Jesus' name. We're praying for those who suffer with so many chronic conditions, high blood pressure, diabetes, allergies, breathing problems, lung diseases, heart disease, uh, kidney disease, liver disease, whatever that it is, Parkinson's, we come against those things today in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God has all power, and there's nothing that's too hard for our God. We want to pray for continued recovery for those that have seen progress, those praise reports that have come in, but yet the work is not fully complete. We're believing for completion of that work. The Word of God tells us that um, he who has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So we believe for that continued work, uh, amen, to take place in every life today that's in need. We want to pray for spiritual needs, needs in our families, marital stresses, uh, stresses on uh, with, with uh, a family with children and trying to find care for them during the pandemic and and now getting ready to go back to school and some places are going back to school and other places not so sure if they are and it's hard to make arrangements. So let's believe God for all that to work out. We want to pray for salvation for our family members that are lost. Pray for salvation for the backsliders today that they will return to God in Jesus' name. So many friends and family members, and you see the names there on your screen those that we're praying for today. As I lead you in prayer today, please call those names before the throne of grace. Yes, God knows their name before we even ask, but there's something beautiful that God likes about the unity of prayer and us submitting those needs to him. And I believe that all of heaven stands attention. There are angels that are waiting for God's command to go and to minister and to help in someone's time of need today. So we're believing together, amen, for God to move in our families in our communities. We want to pray for those who are facing surgery or recovering from surgery today. Guidance for the surgeons, help for the nurses and the caretakers today, and God's hand of protection upon every patient. We want to pray today for all those who are battling with cancer, and that list is so long. Amen. Call those names before the Lord as I pray with you today in Jesus' name. Pray for continued recovery for these who are have suffered stroke, these who have had uh, hip replacement surgery and, and brain surgery and colon surgery. Amen. We want to continue to call their names before the Lord. Those who have been in car accidents and miraculously survived, but now they're on that long road to recovery. We're going to lift them up together in prayer today. I ask you as we go into devotion time today that you would share this video with someone. Amen. Spread the influence of the Word of God into other lives around you. There's someone that's going to need a word from God that we're about to hear today. So make sure that you start a watch party or that you share the video today to help others receive what they need from the Lord. Romans 8 and 38, we've used it even in other devotions, maybe once or twice over the past few months. But we come back to this today because it's just such a powerful passage. And I won't even read the passage to you but just mention the message of Romans 8, 38 and 39 to you that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Amen. God is near us. God is accessible to us. And we need to understand that he's not a God that's, that's far away, but in him we live and move and we have our being. Nothing could truly separate us from his presence. Amen. Samuel Johnson, an 18th century writer, said, People need to be reminded more often than they need to be instructed. That's what a lot of this devotion is that we do every day. Sometimes you're not really learning anything new, but it's reminding you. And, and the Word of God tells us that we need to purpose to think good thoughts to think on pure things and true things and lovely things, things that are virtuous and things uh, that are praiseworthy. We need to keep our minds on good things. And, and when we watch the news and when we read the newspaper, everywhere we go, there's negative information. But the Word of God reminds us that nothing can separate us from Him. If we'll just stay tuned into His presence, God is near us at all times. We need to be reminded of that. And so there's hope-filled truth that we need to remember today, and that is that God is just so near to us 
this morning. There's never a place that we can go where his presence won't already be there. God is in our yesterday, he's in our today, and he's in our tomorrow, all at the same time. The eternal God knows no barriers of time. That's artificially constructed for us to live in. He rejoices over us. He rewards us and blesses us. He smothers us with his forgiveness and grace every day, throughout the day. In addition to the good, there is no tragedy that we'll ever face, no hardship that we will endure, and no adversity that we will encounter where God is not with us, holding us up with his mighty, righteous, and perfect right hand. When you feel lonely and you wonder where God is, know that he's everywhere. He's about you. He's above you. He's after you, amidst you, around you, among you, before you, behind you, beneath you, beside you, beyond you. He's by you. He's for you. He's in you. He's near you, and he's over you. He is everywhere, all the time, always and forever. Our God is near us. When you experience fear and you wonder why God won't remove it from you, know that he hasn't given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind, and that nothing can separate us from his love and presence. Always and forever, he is near us. When you're sick and you don't understand why God won't heal you, your name's on the list every day, but the, but the healing hasn't come. And when you don't understand why that it hasn't happened, know that he is still the great physician, and he is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. The time frame that you have in mind may not match his, but rest assured of this one thing. He is doing a work in you and through you always and forever. He is near us. There's nothing that we will ever encounter that God has not already defeated, and not just defeated, but totally annihilated on our behalf. When Jesus Christ went to the cross to cover our past, our present, and our future sins, amen, the enemies of the cross were annihilated by that sacrifice, that forever sacrifice. Amen. The blood of Jesus shed once for all, always and forever. He is near us. When you go through devastating situations, he's with you. When your life is spinning out of control, he is with you. When you can't see the path or even the next step, he is with you. There are options everywhere that beg us to place our trust, hope, and joy in them. Big mistake because those things only prove temporary. They're only temporary joys, temporary pleasures, and they hold no comparison to the eternal, never-ending presence of our Almighty God who calls us His children. His presence is our prize. Amen. And we're promised His presence now and for those that live for Him for all eternity. Amen. In the presence of of the Almighty God. We're in His presence today. I feel His presence in this room right now. Why don't you just lift your hands if you're not driving your car right now? Amen. Why don't you just lift your hands right now and let's just adore our Heavenly Father. Let's just lift Him up and give Him the glory and the praise that He deserves. Oh God, I love you. I lift up your holy name. I exalt you. I worship you. I adore you, Lord. There's no one, God, that could ever take your place in my life. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, that I know you, that you're not just a, a historical figure in the person of Jesus, but, but you're the ever-present help in time of trouble, and you're alive forevermore. You're the living God. Hallelujah. I thank you for your power. I thank you, Jesus, that you are the same yesterday, today and forever, and that in you right now, I have my very being. I'm, I'm moving and flowing in your presence, and I know your presence is real. You're not just an idea or a concept or a morality, but, but you're everything, Lord. 
and I can feel your presence. I can know you in an intimate way. Oh, I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I submit my will to you today. We come to you today humbly, Lord. We're your servants. We're your people. We belong to you. Our lives belong to you. We trust in your essence today, in your very presence, God, to uphold our lives and to direct our paths. We, we follow after your spirit. We walk in your spirit, Lord, and ask for your direction today. Hallelujah. We pray for your kingdom to come. We pray for your will to be done in our lives today, on earth, even as it is in heaven, in our families, in our communities, Lord, in our nation, in our world. We trust in you today, believing for your kingdom to come. In Jesus' name, let your kingdom, Lord, grow in this earth. Let the whole earth be filled with your glory. Hallelujah. Help us to share your glory with this world. Hallelujah. To promote and propagate your word, your precious gospel. In Jesus' name. I know your presence is near to each person that we're praying for right now. And I pray that your manifest presence would be with them. Lord, for those that are shut into their homes, for those that are in nursing care centers today, long-term care facilities and not able to have visitors. Lord, we pray, God, that your hand would be upon them. Lord, that you would minister to them today. Let them feel your love today and feel your presence with them. In Jesus' name, we pray for those who are awaiting test results today. Let them have peace in their minds as they are awaiting the news, God. And we pray that it would be good news. We pray for every issue related to coronavirus. We pray for those who are vulnerable to COVID, those who have autoimmune diseases. We pray, God, for those that are in the hospital today that are suffering and not able to have family to even visit them. Lord, as they're struggling to breathe and they're in such great distress, we pray, God, your comfort and your peace would move into those hospital rooms right now. In Jesus' name, let your breath, God, uh, uh, breathe into them, uh, Lord, that they wouldn't need a ventilator anymore today. Oh, God, we pray for your complete healing right now. In Jesus' name, in every state, in every city, God, let your presence flow into hospital rooms and heal the sick right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray for President Trump, for Pre Vice President Mike Pence. We pray, God, that your blessing and your strength would be upon them, that you would guide them and that you would lead them today. God, that your will would be done in the upcoming election that's getting ready to take place in just a, a matter of months. Oh, God, direct us, God. Heal our divisions. Bring us together, Lord. Of course, bring us together under your banner of love. Hallelujah. Not under compromise. Uh, not other things that are against your word and things that are against, Lord, your direction and your desire. But God, bring us together in humility under your mighty hand. Hallelujah. We serve you, Lord. And we want our country to serve you. We want our leaders to serve you. Hallelujah. Let your power spring forth right there in the White House. In Jesus' name, bless those prayer meetings that are going on there every day. I pray, God, for Brother Art Wilson at the United Nations, Lord, that you would bless his ministry there. Lord, that those doors would not close, that he would be able to continue converting people right there from all over the world. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for our economy today, for full recovery. In Jesus' name, we pray for complete recovery, for strength and stability in our economy right now. We pray, God, for those who are unemployed, that their jobs would be restored. We pray for those whose hours have been cut, that they will be able to work full-time hours. Uh, we pray for those that are searching for a job, that they'll find the right one. We pray for those who are struggling with mental health issues right now. God, we pray against anxiety and fear, against worry right now, against the cares of this life that consume so many and drive them into depression, Lord. Oh, God, we pray for your deliverance today from depression in Jesus' name, for those who are suffering, those who are afraid to leave their homes. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, your peace that passes all understanding, God, would uphold them today and minister to them even now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray against every sickness and disease, whether named or unnamed. It matters not. All that matters is your name. And we pronounce the name of the Lord Jesus Christ over hypertension. Hallelujah. Your Lord over diabetes. Your Lord over allergies. Your Lord over breathing issues. Your Lord over Parkinson's disease. Your Lord over heart disease. Your Lord over diseases of the lungs today. Hallelujah. Your Lord over every kind of organ failure today. Your Lord over COVID today. You are Lord of all, Lord Jesus. And we speak your word of healing right now upon the authority of the word of God and by the power of the name Jesus. Wherever you are, receive your healing right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I feel there was just an impartation right then of the power of God into someone's situation. Hallelujah. Reach up by faith and receive your touch right now. In Jesus' name. The gift of faith has been released this morning. And God is moving in your situation even now. The working of miracles has been released, I believe, right now by the prayer of faith. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for continued recovery, Lord, for all of these uh, that have been in car accidents um, and, Lord, have had broken bones set uh, and have had uh, a therapy begin um, and, Lord, uh, uh, are going through therapy because of stroke and, and different ailments and neurological disorders today, God. We believe for your complete healing for them and restoration of the function of every limb. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, let them be made whole. Hallelujah. Let our marriages be whole today. Let our families be whole. We pray against dysfunction in families today. Lord, you see the assault that's upon the family that you created before you ever created the church, Lord. You created the family. And we believe you for strong families, uh, that we may have strong churches, uh, that we may have a strong nation. Hallelujah. That serves you and trust in you today. We pray for our family members that are lost. We pray, God, for spiritual renewal. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for the backsliders to return to you. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for the children of our dear sisters and brothers, Lord, that are heavy on their hearts today. Go ahead and call their names before the Lord right now. Call their names in faith. Hallelujah. Vocalize that need right now before the throne of grace. I believe that God is moving right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those who are going into surgery this morning. We pray for the surgeons that you would guide their hands. Lord, that they would be skillful, Lord. Hallelujah. There will be no mistakes as they go through the operation today. That there will be no arteries nicked, Lord. That everything would be done precisely, God. You're able to guide them. Give them wisdom and steadiness today. Hallelujah. And we pray your peace for families that have someone going into surgery right now. Perhaps an emergency surgery right now where it's life or death and it's all hanging in the balance. We speak peace right now into their situation. In Jesus' name, we pray for comfort for those who have lost someone dear to them. Oh, God, comfort their hearts. Uphold them right now by your free spirit, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray for all those who are battling cancer. And we speak by faith today that they will live and not die. We believe, God, by your power, Lord, that they'll be raised up. Hallelujah. That every cancer cell will begin to die in their bodies. That they may live. In Jesus' name, let every abnormal cell be replaced with a healthy cell right now in Jesus name we pray we believe you for continued recovery Lord for those um, who have been uh, recover or been battling Lord uh, uh, chronic illnesses and they went a little bit forward and a little bit backward but we believe this is a day of their breakthrough in Jesus name we give you thanks and we give you praise today for all that you're doing. Hallelujah. God, cleanse us today. Make us new. Let us be vessels, of, Lord, that your holy oil can pour through and minister in the needs of others this morning. Hallelujah. God, give us those divine appointments today. Put someone on our path that we can minister to and help us to be sensitive to your spirit and to know when that moment presents itself to share a word 
just to share a word, Lord, not to push a door open, but, God, to go through a door that you have opened and that no man can shut. I believe that today God is wanting to use each and every one of you watching this video, amen, to be a blessing today. Go be a blessing throughout your day, amen. Let, let the spirit of prayer continue in your heart today. Whisper a prayer, amen, here and there throughout the day and stay in the mind and the attitude of prayer. And remember this, the effectual fervent prayer of righteous people will avail much. It will, it will bring results, of, amen. And God is using your prayers and my prayers together today to accomplish his work in the earth. God bless you. Amen. I look forward to coming back again on Monday morning and continuing our devotions from the word of God, continuing praying together. Amen. I pray God's blessing upon your services this weekend. Amen. That you'll have a mighty move of God. Amen. That people will be filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in the name of Jesus, that people will receive what they need, deliverance, help and strength. Let it flow in our services. Uh, hallelujah. Let the worship flow this weekend. Amen. To minister to the needs of the people. In Jesus' name, God bless you. I will see you Monday morning right here again on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m.